We're gonna show them the different Bakugans. Give them more in depth view on this. Welcome back, guys. It's another quick episode for Tuesday. What we're gonna do today's episode is we're gonna show you more detail about the Bakugan actually do when they transform. Uh, when you play the game, when you go over, over the Baki course in different kind of types, like the ones we have right now ourselves, all right? Yeah. And it's, honestly, you show you how annoying some of these are to actually put them back into the ball. Right. Having all of them, all of them. You have the Baki course laid out over the table in a, whatever shape you guys make. So say if this is actually the course we were playing on, and we had this shape going on, now, the it's one kind thing, of hexagon. It's whatever. It's what? kind of. <gasps> it's a sword. It's a sword. I have a blue ape-like creature, which was, I don't know his name. Gorilla. Is. Gorilla. It's a, well, it's a gorilla, but I don't know what his name is. Gorilla. Oh, yeah. It's a Gorython. 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 Yep. And uh, he is actually a, 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 a gorilla. When he hits a box core, where's the magnet on this one, though? No. There. He pops open and actually... Creates a gorilla. Kill him. I want to show him this one. You knew one? The knight? No. Well, he's, he's a giant. Yeah, a zentar. He's a zentar. He's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a mechanical version of a centaur. When he lands on a baki coil, Daddy? he turns into yes, actual he said coil again. Coil, my cord, my bad. He keeps on saying coil. That's one of Kellen's. Uh, oh, Daddy, this is my ultra. Daddy, turn down middle. What? That's a peach on it that doesn't really matter. The sword doesn't pop out with it, Kellen. I mean, it has a sword on it, but to me, when you have to pull it out, it doesn't work well. Oh, this one's weird, because this is an ultra, and this ultra actually has to pop out on his head. And he's supposed to spring. And then when he does, he pops out, and he's a, it's a lion. Which, I don't remember what the name is. This is the, uh, the Hydras, which is apparently a watered lion, but he's red. <laughs> What's the next one? Is? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yours. Oh, this is your ultra, which Hydra is a hydronoid. Yep, the hydronoid, which is a five-headed dragon. Show them. Yep, I'm trying to find the magnet. Oh, there it is. Which uh, him too is a, as well. He pops out on his head. But he's a five-headed dragon. It's actually really cool. But here's the problem: these two ultras are really a pain to put back again. In pain the in the form. butt. Because there's so many intricate working parts on this. <sighs> Check it. Yeah. Put them back in ball form. It's annoying. And then, of no. course, I have Dragonoid, which is a really cool little guy. I, I used to have him. No! What? what the heck? Oh, there it is. How yeah. do I put him together? He pops out into a, dra into a little dragon. Self explaining toward Dragonoid. Put him Oh, you can't put him back? No, he's the hardest. Yeah, this guy's man. tough. He's toughy tough. So who are you going to show next? Show him your black uh, Milius since uh, you see my... Uh, Alright guys, show you my black one. Yeah, I'll show him the white one. They see the white one in action. There is my black one. There you go. Is it a, it's a two-headed. Yeah, they're two-headed. But it looks like a four-head because of Now, a, we actually have... Who did that look? No, those are wings, Kellen. Those it are looks wings. like four heads, though. No, that's a wing, buddy. Okay, yeah, they so, look like four heads. Yeah. We actually have three different versions of these because it turns out my starter pack and Kellen's starter pack came with three different versions of these. So, I used to have that white one and the red one, right? Yep, mine came with the black one. And so I'm like, look, we'll just trade off, turn them around. That way... Not one person has all three, because we actually have three uh, snake ones as well, which is called Fangzors, which are these little uh, snakes. Kellen has two. That's why I took two of the Nilius, because I actually have uh, one of the Fangzors as well. Red and blue. Now, here's the thing is, each, even though we have three different ones, they all have three different attack uh, uh, strengths. Mine have one because, is 400, one is 600. Now, one of yours... Yeah, they're both just regular fangs or two different factions. He does four, he does six. Mine <laughs> is the weakest of them all. He does 100. But 
If mine does win, mine does seven damage to the deck. So it takes seven cards. His only does one, and his does one. So you saw. It's reversed. But if I use him and he wins, you have to draw six. Yep. And then Kiln got this hey, new one yesterday. Hey, no, a, let me. Let me show. It's a Triceratops. It's a dinosaur. Cute. Yep. Cute little guy. What now, it, it. this one is like the um his knight. Has a useless feature in it that I don't think should matter. Is the horns on the Triceratops you have to pull out manually after it opens. But he's one of the few that actually does pull back up pretty quickly to ball. That's what that's basically all I was going to show him today. Is guys, I just want to show you what Bakugans are capable of doing and uh, where it gets kind of weird. Like, well, because if you don't fully back quite right, you might have a chance of breaking it. Yeah, which I learned with the leg of that one. Uh, it was like the cryptid or something? It was supposed to be a kraken. It's like yeah. a giant squid. <laughs> now, here's another thing, too, is each uh, really? of your Bakugans come with two different Baki cores. Like, my gorilla takes a shield and fire fist. Why well, takes a shield and so fire I fist have as a well? Shield and fire fist. But here's where Bakugan, I don't know if it's then going or whatnot, but my starter kit and killing starter kit. Didn't come with the Baki coils for every Baki on. It only came with one. You said it for, again! One coils, my bad. Baki cores. It only came with enough for two of them and then two random Baki cores. So, we couldn't really play with all three if you wanted to, which made no sense. Yeah. But, lucky enough, we, only, we each own six different Baki on. So, we actually have enough Baki cores that. On different rounds, not at the same time, at different rounds, we can play with them all. You know? Like, I wish we uh, could play them all at once. Like his. Uh, no, which his. one is no, Which one is it? Uh, his. Uh, Hydronoid. Yeah, his Hydronoid Ultra takes two Helixes on it. But then an, um, another one of his uh, Bakugan takes two as well. But when he, no? has, but when he has enough. No? No? Which one is it then? No, no, it's oh, only it, this one. Or is it mine? I think it might be mine. Yeah, now. yeah, it's yours. Mine, yeah, it's my, uh, my Hydras, and, or one of them, uh, two of my Bakugans take two, uh, Helixes. Only problem, though, is I only have three he Helixes that came with the whole set. So I'll only play one ba uh, Bakugan that has dual Helixes at a time. I can't play them both. Which is okay, because bo it's both my, uh, my Ultras. And apparently in a game of, uh, a Bakugan. You only, you only have, have one. one ultra playing at a time. Anyway, in your in your deck. You can't have two. Nope. So, Kellen, honestly, do you like the Bakugan playing? Yes. I I enjoy it, which I didn't do yours quite right. Whoopsie. I actually enjoy it. It's it is a game of while where if I you know when it comes to like birthdays now and everything, the one cool thing about Bakugan, just like Pokemon, Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, any other card game based out there, if uh, Solitaire. No, not like that. No, not, that's a card game. Not like the ones I'm talking about. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Magic, uh, The Gathering, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, um, even Beyblade. If you play that kind of hey, game, uh, hey. you can actually build your collection because they make different versions of po uh, Pokemon for these. Like your, you know, you can go up and step uh, buying an expansion deck. You go to Walmart and buy a new Bakugan, just like we did last night. Last night we actually picked up two new ones, but Kill them with them both. So we trade the Bakugans around. That's was the um, Triceratops. And the Centaur. And the Centaur. I bought me the uh, Ceratops and him the Centaur for our deck. So we each have six uh, Bakugans now. He actually liked them. So he took, he won both. So that's how I ended up with two Nilluses and other stuff. Is we just traded straight across for them. And Baki cores and everything else. So it would be even play. I don't like this. This one's kind of hard. <laughs> well, it's an Ultra. Ultras are getting a little difficult. So that being said, guys, we just wanted to give you more of a rundown quickly uh, on which block on how it is and everything and why we like it. Quite frankly, I actually recommend this game. I I, I enjoy it. It's fun. And like we actually got a new Bakugan as well when we bought these cases. Each case came with a uh, new one. a Bakugan, two Baki cores, and the uh, character card for that Bakugan. Wait, what did I learn to my Yours yours came with the um, black Nilus. Mine came no, with the yours dragon came one. with the black Nilus. No. Black case, black nails. Mine came with a dragonoid. Red case, remember? Oh wait, but yeah, but then you traded the dragonoid. Well, yes. What I'm saying is, 
Each case has a color, and it comes with a uh, bucket gun of that color. Yes. You're making them confused. You know, right. just no, no, no. Which one then? Yours came with the black millions. Mine came with the dragonoid. The blue one actually comes with the basic version of the Hydras, not the Ultra. I have the Ultra version, which is what came with my starter deck I got. Starter deck? So, yes, that's what the 40 cards, the 3 bucket gun, ah. and the 6 bucket cards came with. That's the starter deck. It, it came with 40 cards, 3 bucket gun, and the 40 card, uh, uh, 6 bucket cards. Everything you need to actually play a full game. You just, just said go. it again. Well, whatever. They know who I am. They know how I am. So, that being said, guys. This is a little more in depth on it. We don't know everything exact rules. We just make them as we go. We just make them. We don't make them up. We just change it for our play because it's actually a fun game. That's why I like it. So I don't care if we change rules on anything. We're not going to join. We're not going to play pro yet because they do have uh, championships for this. But I don't think it's me. <laughs> so, Kellen, say bye bye. Bye bye. And as always, guys, welcome to the welcome family. To the family. <laughs> I, I should have done it for you. Well, go ahead. Welcome to the family. There you go. River, you want to say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.